This is Larry Miller from Reflection Writing Arboretum and Nature Center, and I want to show you how to download photos from our Flickr collection. Now, you may know Flickr is a photo repository on the web. It's actually owned by Yahoo. And you may have gotten to Flickr through this link right here. And otherwise, you can probably get there just by doing the Google search for reflection writing and do that with Flickr. But this is the site. This is actually a site that I created. And I actually have taken all of these photos that are in here. And they are uploaded in a fashion so that the most current photos are going to be at the front here. So as we go down through this, this by the way is our recent archaeology tram tour with Dr. Nick Onerkamp from UTC doing a great job. And this is our awesome electric vehicle tram system that we use to get people around. This is uh, some of the scenery that we saw and uh, here's uh, our CEO Larry Zender and Jim Frierson, who was very instrumental in getting the tram to reflection writing. So let's just go on down through and I will pick a photograph that we will select and we will work with in terms of how to download it. So if you click on any of these photos, it will pop up. Now we have several options we can do from this point right here. One of these is that you can actually create a link specific to that photograph. So if you saw something and you just wanted to send this link right here to somebody say in an email, uh, you can do that. You could also use this link in a blog or a website and it'll take you directly to this particular photograph. It's a pretty useful way to do it. We're going to show you how to download this particular photograph to your computer. So when I click on this download arrow here, we can select a size that fits our needs. So for example, if you were going to be needing this photograph to put in a, a PowerPoint presentation, you don't need a huge image, so you might want to select the medium. If, on the other hand, you were going to use this uh, in a printed document or something like that, you'd really want to use a much larger image. Since I shoot with a very high quality Nikon camera, it will make a huge image. Most of the time you're not going to need this one, and it does take a bit of space, so I would suggest you probably want to do something on the order of large or medium. The small square would be a perfect one if you wanted to create like an icon for a Facebook page or something like that. But let's take a look at what happens when we do this medium right here. Okay, now over on this side there was an arrow that showed up over here and right here is this file. Now it will create a specific number file for you. That is why I recommend that you don't just open it, you actually look at it in your download folder. So here's my download folder. And now if I right click on this, then I can open with and I have a number of different tools I can use to look at this. If I'm just looking at it, I might want to use the Windows Photo Viewer. Okay, so there it is. If, on the other hand, I wanted to actually use it in something I was working on in Photoshop, or I use Photoshop Elements, then right-clicking and selecting that will put that photograph right into my editing area. And now I can do some things with this. If I wanted to crop it, for example, I could make it uh, just that big. 
or I could add text or other things like that. Now what you're going to do though is to actually save this. Remember it had kind of a long number name. So you're going to select the place that you're going to put it on your computer and let's just put it just right on the desktop and I'm going to put in Reflection Riding Arboretum Nature Center Canoe and I'm saving this as a JPEG file if I go to my desktop now and I will show the desktop and it's right up here so if I click on that there it is the cropped photo that I saved so that's really all you really need to do to download photos from Flickr